What OpenAI gets from giving out ChatGPT to millions of users is that it helps train their models. Now, recently, they're defending a suit against the New York Times, and they've admitted to a problem called regurgitation. When prompts are used to train ChatGPT, there is a rare possibility that ChatGPT will memorize that content and repeat it to others. Now, if that worries you or you're dealing with sensitive data, you want to make sure that your prompts are not training ChatGPT. So let's go over six options that prevent ChatGPT from training on your prompts, including some you probably don't know about. Chronologically, the first option is to turn off chat history and training. You can go to settings, data controls, and turn off the switch right here. This is like incognito mode on your browser. This turns off your chat history, and the chats that you do here will not train the models. Simple, but effective. However, since it turns off some of the most useful features, it might not be the best solution for you. The next option is asking OpenAI not to use your prompts to train ChatGPT. Now, this is a bit harder to find. You have to go to this URL and make a privacy request. Here you can click on consumer and then click on this button to ask them not to train on your content. You'll need to include an email and after some time, you'll get a confirmation that the change has been made. Other than that, there's nothing letting you know that you've made the request. Nothing else changes about the interface. You just have to trust them. Even after you ask OpenAI not to use your prompts formally, if you have a Plus account and you've created some custom GPTs, there's one more place you need to check. I'm going to go to this custom GPT right here. And under this drop down menu, I'll select Edit GPT and then I'll click on Configure. And you have to go all the way down to the bottom of this form right here and find this additional settings section. And then make sure that you click off this Use Conversation data in your GPT to improve our models. And you'll need to do that for every one of your custom GPTs. There are specific versions of ChatGPT that don't train the model. By default, the free version and even plus are designed to train things, but either the team version or the enterprise version don't. Now, there are also different variants from Microsoft, and a lot of those applications will not train the model. For example, Windows 11, which now comes with Copilot, doesn't train the model, and it's the same version of ChatGPT 4 that you get with the paid version. Copilot has his own version of ChatGPT Enterprise and also a way for you to run your own custom version of ChatGPT in Azure. Another thing that you can do is use the developer playground. Now, this is mostly for developers, but it's not too difficult to figure out. And actually, anytime you use the API or application programming interface, it will not train the GPT models. So you could take advantage of this by using the model directly. you can install an application like Jan on your own machine. This is a free open source and cross-platform application that will even let you run a lot of models other than ChatGPT. There's a bit of setup and you'll have to have access to creating open AI keys. So those are some of the options that will let you use ChatGPT without training the models and keeping your data safe and your prompts secure.